Hi, this is Pete Konechny with Oxford College, and here we're here with one of our instructors. It's Dr. Nicholas Hurtengraven. He uh, is the person who's behind our clinical research program. Uh, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Okay, thank you very much, Peter. The, like, how did you uh, first come up with the idea of teaching, uh, of, te of bringing out this clinical research program? Okay, so um, this goes back about 14 years ago, I had some exposure to immigration consulting, which I found a very interesting area, but I rapidly became aware that there were many, many internationally trained professionals, among them doctors and dentists. I'm a trained doctor myself, so I can recognize these people. And they would land in Canada, they're still landing in Canada, having studied abroad for five or eight or ten years upon landing in Canada found that they could not practice their chosen profession. They were not allowed to unless they went through a lengthy revaluation process and recertification process, had to take the licensing exams and had to do res residency programs. Many of them this was a huge surprise uh, having thought they would just take a little bit of paperwork and they'd be off practicing and now they, many of them found that they could not practice and many would never ever be able to practice here in Canada. So I designed the clinical research program because I figured it's such a waste to have these people, these docs and dentists who studied so many years can never use this information. So clinical research is a program that's going to use of any activity that a medical professional can do outside of practicing Clinical research is the one area that's going to use most of that knowledge that they've accumulated and experience that they've accumulated over the previous many years and be able to work using that knowledge here in Canada. Otherwise they could work as laboratory technicians or as a venipuncturist or taking blood pressures or ECGs or some little task but they're never going to use most, the vast majority of that information that they've learned. They'll never use it again. So that's why I designed the clinical research program. So we have a, a large number of foreign trained docs and dentists and masters and people with PhDs who come to the program. But originally it was designed for the doctors and dentists, trying to help them back into their feet to an activity that's interesting, that allows them to access hospitals and research centers and the industry. And we're having a variety of people, of uh, students of applicants now coming from the universities, not only international but local graduates as well. So, and it's working very well. But that's what, that's what made me think that they should have something to do to use that. It's such a waste otherwise. Yeah, there's a huge number of people that come in from other countries outside of Canada looking for you know, to work in the medical field, and that's, uh, this kind of program is one of the kind of best options, almost. Yeah. They, um, how would you describe, like, what the program is like? It's, uh, it's one of the very few, like, in Ontario that people, like, uh, that is about clinical research. Yes, that, that's right. Um, I designed this program from, from scratch, from nothing. There are some programs uh, in Ontario, one or two, that are good, reasonably good, but I think our program is probably the best one in the province and possibly in the country because it has a very, very broad approach to clinical research. It, we cover clinical research on all the academic side and the hospitals, all the basic research side that the professors are doing, funded by the government, and we cover all the industry side as well. So we cover an enormous breadth and we cover it in some considerable depth as well. That makes it unique. There are a number of programs that are purely driven by the industry. So the students get trained in an industry approach. They will get trained in drug development in whatever the drug or line of drugs or medicine that's being developed by the industry at the time. That's what they're going to get trained in, period. They won't have exposure to anything. So our program is, is very broad, as I say, and in that sense it gives them a much richer experience, especially to the medical people. The, you know, one of the kind of key parts of this uh, program is the uh, placement that, go, that takes place. Often it's in a hospital. Can you tell us about that process, like what's that like? Yes, yes. 
um, the place the the theory part of the program takes nine months right now, and if a student successfully passes the theory part, they will be placed. Most of the placements, after they've studied all the theory part, students almost without exception have asked to be placed in hospital or research centers, sometimes in industry, but mostly in hospital centers. Um, students that do well in the theory part, they, they usually get snapped up. They get hospital research assistant positions quite quickly. Uh, the student has to show that it, the student can apply the skills and knowledge that they've learned in the theory part of the program. If they can do that, and they do it successfully during the placement period, they will become essential. They will be needed in that environment. So what happens most of the time is that the investigator and the supervisors will offer our students to stay on. And that most of the time merges into a job offer quite success. Not always, but most of the time it does. If a student is good and sharp and works hard, is conscientious and is always there, good attendance, punctuality and a good performer, chances are very good that they'll be offered a job. You don't get employed right away, but you'll be offered an hourly salary or contract work and you build it from there. So the, 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 uh, the placement component is absolutely key to this program. And we're very concerned and we do it very well. Mm -hmm. Well, in Toronto is a kind of a leading area for like medical research and like the hospital for sick children is here, Princess Margaret, things like which women's hospital, Toronto, Toronto Women's Hospital. They're all kind of places that we've sent our uh, uh, students uh, as placements. Yes, yes, that, that that's quite right. We have good relationship with uh, almost all, I would say, of the major Toronto teaching hospitals and some of the ones that are outside the greater Toronto area. Uh, Toronto uh, is one of the uh, research hubs in the world, actually, and probably the second or third largest research hub in, in North America. There are one or two that are bigger than us in the States, but probably the largest research hub in Canada. Uh, a researcher or a student who wants to research into any subject can find it in Toronto. There are thousands and thousands of trials and studies going on, and there are thousands of investigators and researchers working all the time. So, and it's all downtown, it's all in Toronto here. So, students are very lucky, it's an excellent place to come because they get a very good program such as this clinical research program and they then go into an excellent clinical research environment to start their careers. Now, one last thing I'd like to ask is that like, you've been now doing this almost I would be six years now in this program. Well, how do you enjoy it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, yes, it's, it's six years at the college here. The program itself I designed about now 11, 12 years ago and I delivered it out of different locations, but I came to Oxford here about six years ago and the school has been very supportive. Uh, I like the environment I work in a lot and uh, the program has grown. The first year we started here I think we had two students and last year we had something like 25 or 28 with about a 2,400 percent increase over five years. So the program is growing exponentially and it's very, very successful. I enjoy it a lot. Our students are, are nice. The class size is small. It's very interactive. And uh, they make good friends here. A lot of them are international students, recently arrived in Canada. So it sets them on the right path. We teach them all about the Canadian culture way things are done in Canada, how to perform in the workplace, what you can do or should do, what you can do, what you should not do. And uh, overall it's a very nice learning environment and the graduates all say this, you know, you just listen to the feedback we get from the placement sites and from the graduates themselves. They enjoy it immensely and they're very happy that they took the program. I enjoy it as well, so it's a win-win situation. Well, I'm happy too. I really enjoy your program <laughs> as well. And, and thank you so much for talking with us today. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you.